line. Two of our members who are going to be beaming in, hopefully. <laughs> uh, right now, we're trying to get everything set up. And this is my personal stuff, and you are all seeing it. Um, can we take that off, please? <laughs> Um, either way, um, it's great to see you all, and I'm very glad that you've come in here. Today we're going to be talking about um, a proposal for an idea we have to connect folks on uh, in the Wikimedia movement together. Um, there was an opportunity um, when we saw that we were going to be here in Singapore that we didn't want to pass up. And that opportunity was normally um, we at Wikimedians of the Caribbean, uh, we are in a completely different time zone, completely far away from other, from many of the other island focused groups that are out there in the movement. And we wanted the opportunity since we're here to connect with other islanders and folks interested and um, uh, interested in island nations and knowledge coming from island nations. Now, um, Something that, that we thought when we got together in 2018, um, and uh, Richard, if you could come up to the front. Um, this group was assembled in uh, uh, the Wiki Conference North America. And what we, what we did was um, we, about a few months later, organized a user group that focuses on uh, the importance of the contributions of um, island nations in the Caribbean beyond the shores. Now, I was born in the Caribbean. I was born in an, an island called Dominica. It's a small island nation. Um, if you want to look at us on the map, hopefully we're on the map. That was one of the issues that brought us together. Um, is that you would count us maybe about four islands up from Venezuela, and you'd find us in between Martinique and Guadeloupe. Now, uh, I came to the United States when I was a young child, and my immigrant family immigrated to uh, New York City, and, um, oh, sorry, go ahead. And something that has always been important to me and to many who are in the diaspora of their countries is staying close to um, to your roots and staying close to the knowledge and developments of where you're from. And how many of you in the audience right now are from an island nation? How many of you in the audience right now also maybe are connected in some way to someone from an island nation? Now, I, I'm very excited um, here in Singapore to know the history of the country, about um, how uh, Singapore came to be. Um, I know that Singapore is the only um, city nation, right, of its kind in the world. I believe there's Monaco and um, uh, Vatican City and a few others that are also um, uh, in a similar context, but I believe Singapore has is unique in um, in in um, some of this regard. Another uh, group of people that I really wanted to meet while here are those from the Philippines. Um, now I'm bringing these things up because um, I know that in the last few years, um, the island nation that I'm originally from has been dealing with some of this, the similar issues as many other island nations in the world, one of them being climate change, um, another of them being dealing with uh, landmass issues and so forth. There's also very interesting connective tissue between island nations, and that includes, for example, knowledge of um, uh, the, uh, the natural sciences, uh, different issues that specifically deal with um, uh, countries that are, are locked away from um, what many would consider the mainstream flow of information. You know, sometimes there's something that might happen in, um, for example, it might happen somewhere in one of the uh, areas of the Caribbean, for example, like Haiti, or um, for, I just mentioned Dominica, or in other areas that may be overlooked by those looking at main, uh, information coming from larger countries that are um, uh, 
out of that context. So what we and the Wikimedians of the Caribbean wanted to do was make sure that information like this wasn't overlooked and also to make sure that um, the Caribbean was not left out of the conversation when it came to um, information on Wikipedia. Now, whenever you're dealing with thematic groups and situations, you find that there's not only um, one theme area that but bonds us, but many. And part of that is also connecting with one another, um, talking to each other, learning from each other's experiences. And something that we've enjoyed doing uh, over the last five plus years in WikiCarry has been just that. We meet on a regular basis and um, find ways to not only amplify the Caribbean, but also to amplify the issues and subject matter that um, have to do with the Caribbean. Um, you're going to hear hopefully a little bit later from some of our members who are coming in from online and have been pre-recorded. And um, one of those areas is going to be um, the digital human rights. And another um, is dealing with, like I mentioned before, the natural sciences and um, learning more about um, the, the, the things that make up the culture, the history, and the connective tissue of, of the islands of the Caribbean. But in this um, time, we wanted to focus on a new idea. It's called Wiki Oasis. Wiki Oasis um, stands for Wikimedians organized in association with small island states. Now, Wiki Oasis, <laughs> we came up with that because we understand an oasis for many is uh, a palm tree in the desert, right? <laughs> But it's the opposite for us. Um, we see uh, island states as um, oases of culture, of knowledge, of information, of potential, of so much more than, for example, a passing trip on a cruise ship <laughs> or a few days here and there um, to um, you know, spend time on a beach or so forth. There's so much more to know, so much more to learn, uh, and so much more to glean from. But not only that, we have a lot that we can glean from one another. So Wiki Oasis is essentially a group of people um, within the movement, part of independent and different groups who have decided to create intentional community to support one another in the movement. Now, we know that a lot of folks, especially those in this room who've traveled millions of uh, thousands of miles to be here, that, you know, another group to be a part of can be daunting for some. But for us, we see this as great. Hey, Kira. <laughs> For, for us, we see this as an opportunity that we can make the most of, not only while we're here, but throughout the year. So we would like to try to start off with at least biannually meeting with one another online. And then as the group needs, we want to see if we can meet some more. Now there's been talk of things like uh, hubs. There's also groups like um, affiliate communities and thematic groups. Um, what we'd like to do today is, thank you very much. What we'd like to do today is take the opportunity to connect with you all in the room and you all online to see what you think about um, the idea of a group like this coming into being. Not only that, but this is a good time to discuss this because what it's uh, because it allows us to connect and grow not only the idea and the thought of this, but also to help move it along along where um, folks see the need and the desire. Now, finally, our technology has been fixed, and I'm going to try and move it along to where we are. So, hold on one moment. Green big button. Mm -hmm. Now I mentioned uh, what Wiki Oasis was. Okay, now who would be invited into in this intentional community? 
this intentional community is not just made up of people who have been born in a small island state, but people who are interested in knowledge coming from this area. People who are interested in amplifying that knowledge in, and making it full and complete. For example, there are some issues that fall within small island nations especially that may overlap with issues that come from the communities that you are from. For example, access to technology. Um, we've already covered a little bit about climate change and weather, uh, dramatic weather changes. Um, earlier last year, uh, excuse me, two years ago, we communities of the Caribbean connected with folks in Norway um, to discuss about um, how we are both affected, folks in the Caribbean and folks in uh, Scandinavia are affected by the melting of um, ice, uh, excuse me, by climate change within our waterways. So there is a, there's a lot of ways that we can um, connect around the idea of what's happening um, in small island states. The main idea is we don't want to overlook it. There are 50 island countries and 44 island territories. So not only um, is this, uh, when you think of, of the landmass all put together, is this significant, but it also means that these island countries, island territories also have um, a connection with the uh, countries around them and with um, the, the trajectory of those communities. So sometimes when we think of island countries, we think of, um, uh, it's almost an afterthought for many because we're so focused on, for example, uh, um, when you're, when I'll just give you an example that, that's close to my heart. At Wikimedia, <laughs> um, you know, when you, you go upstairs and you put your, um, your little pin on the wall and you look for the country that you're from. And um, so one year when I was, you know, still new to the movement, I went and I looked for my country of birth. And I went, where is it? I see Hispaniola as a line and I see, um, I think they had Cuba and that was it. Okay, well, so what, what message does that send you when you're not even included in the picture? What message does that send you when, um, when uh, you're literally not on the map, right? Um, thankfully today, that's completely different. And um, I'm not gonna say it's because of little old Wikimedians of the Caribbean, but what I will say is that it's a wonderful to see that um, that expansion has happened because it sends a message now, not only are you literally on the map, but also that you matter, that, you're, that what comes from your country matters. Um, I'm also from uh, originally from a developing country and um, we used to be called, uh, and I think we still are called, third world. Um, <laughs> we've been called, um, uh, like I mentioned, developing nations. It always speaks to us of, you have a ways to go to meet the standard. But I think in many ways, um, the standard is being met in many, uh, all of our, uh, everywhere you go, because you are your standard, what you know, is um, just as important as uh, the larger context of information. And I think that's an important to send regardless of where, um, where we fall in, uh, whether it's economics or otherwise. Okay, before I begin to uh, trail off, <laughs> I wanna see if we have been able to reach the folks online. Okay. Okay, well, I wanna just continue with what we have before you today. Hold on. Is it still connected? So basically um, in the end, what we're trying to do is to uh, forward the idea of the use of and value of groups like this within the movement. All right, should I just continue here? Great. 
So um, going back to the idea of um, issues dealing with uh, severe weather and climate change, I just wanted to continue to show some of the, th the areas that we identified were important for island communities especially, and that includes um, climate change, environment, and so forth. Areas that we're dealing with that not only is this information important, but it also is important for in the larger context of the globe as well. Now, one of the reasons why um, the focus on island nations is important is because oftentimes in this area, especially of um, the effects of changes in climate and severe weather, is that we deal with it first. So um, especially low-lying island nations will see the effect of um, uh, some of these areas before um, other populations that are uh, on land, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, non-island nations. Um, I want to also continue, um, these are some of the areas that we um, wanted to identify with you as well. That's digital human rights, island-focused knowledge sharing, and the use and value in the movement. Now, um, one of the areas that I, I wanted to highlight was not only that um, we, this year, there's something called the Digital Compact. It was led by the United Nations. And we were very pleased to be able to be a part of that conversation. Um, for many uh, dealing with, for example, um, in the context of severe weather like hurricanes and so forth, infrastructure is very strongly affected. And when you're talking about improving access to larger communities, and, and of course this conference focuses on diversity, the future, and so forth, and collaboration, how can you, how can you um, ensure uh, collaboration, greater participation and diversity um, without um, the infrastructure and the ability to access the internet in the first place. Now, this is not something I'm saying we will solve, but it's something that I think is important to um, take a second and third look at in the movement. Because we, uh, if, you, if you are dealing with access to the technology in, in the first place, if you're dealing with, um, for example, many in the, um, uh, wiki human rights community and are, are looking at is, okay, what happens in the follow-up to an event? What can we do to ensure that people dealing with these areas are going to be able to reconnect to the community and be able to continue their work within the community? Then what you're looking at is something that not only affects one area, for example, let's say there's an event happening in one part of the community in the world, um, but it's something that potentially also affects many other areas. Now, in the case of Wiki Oasis, a group like this can connect folks who are looking at these issues and we can collectively find solutions um, that not only meet the needs generally, but focus on the specific areas that will um, inevitably um, come to specifically those in island communities. A large brush stroke, um, at least there is a brush. But with communities like this, you can prepare. You can also um, glean on uh, best practices, knowledge, and information within those communities. Now, we did have two people in the wings waiting and a video, <laughs> and unfortunately, those are not available at the moment. But what I want to do is say that the group of folks that um, we've come together and come up with this idea, there is a particular commitment to the movement and to not only um, amplifying information in the Caribbean community and island community, but they come from different communities as well. For example, Ian Ramjan comes from the education community. Oh, he's in it? Oh, great. 
um, they're uh, coming from different communities. Um, I run AfroCrowd, which is a group focused on amplifying uh, representation on, on Wikipedia, especially in the African diaspora. There's, um, uh, we've already met Richard, who has been with Wikipedia for, um, in the Wiki community for since, what, it's been almost 13 years, and has been involved in many different groups. And, um, and you're about to hear from uh, Brandon Sullivan, who comes to us, um, as well as our uh, communications lead, who, um, even as a new Wikipedian, has gone into a scholarly direction and is coming to us from Harvard right now. Hi, Brendan, how are you? Hello, Singapore. Hello, Sherry, I'm not too bad. So glad to join well, you guys. The point is, he exists. <laughs> 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 um, so Brandon, we can't hear you for some reason, but- um, Oh, but, uh, let's see. But we, um, but I do want to point out that Brennan was one of the people who spoke at the UN um, on our behalf. Um, he has been working um, tirelessly um, on um, issues like um, digital human rights. And we have also um, connected with people who have been um, tirelessly working, for example, on issues dealing specifically with the Caribbean. Um, uh, in in Latin America as well. Um, and in the coming months, we're looking forward to doing more of this and expanding it, um, our connectivity with um, not only any of you in this room who may be interested, but those who may be interested um, in island nations from all over the world. I'm talking about you, Cape Verde, Reunion. I'm talking about you, um, uh, in the Philippines and you here in Singapore and elsewhere, we want to collaborate with you in ways that we can um, not only tackle some of these issues using knowledge sharing and building community within Wikipedia um, in ways that I think only um, a global movement of this kind can do um, is um, in ways that we uh, have not only been interested in doing, but have already done. I'm looking at Netta Hussein, and I remember when we, during the pandemic, when we did work together around the effects of um, the pandemic. So um, we only have about one minute, 49 seconds, Brandon. But what I'm thinking <laughs> is for the final portion of this time, uh, we had been hoping to connect with you to um, with any questions you had or any um, information you wanted to, to um, collaborate. Hmm. Are you on? And to me um, now? if we can switch over to my slides, thanks, Brendan. Love the glasses. <laughs> uh, if we can switch over to my slides, please. I just want to um, finalize with. Uh, some information that we have for you. Did you use the clicker? Okay. Okay. So um, we prepared uh, this QR code. Um, if you'd like to connect with us, um, please do by using the QR code. You can also connect by going to bit.ly slash wiki oasis um, just for an information uh, it's a, just an information form to say that you're interested in this idea and also um, you can find us on twitter at wiki carry and you can also find us um, on wiki as well um, using the bit.ly that you see here um, one one other thing as well is that we are also, um, you can also find us um, by going to uh, wikicarryinfo at gmail.com. So thank you very much, folks.